And today we're talking about smoking and kidney health. So Dr. Hashmi, I have several questions here, but let's start off with, can smoking cause kidney disease? So, so the answer is absolutely yes. In fact, if we start to go back and start to look at the data, the data clearly shows the answer is yes, but what's really interesting will be the how. So smoking increases the risk, according to some studies, one study is by Yakub and colleagues, 2010, and the risk increased by 63%. So that's pretty interesting that that happens. But what's more interesting is that when they looked at former smokers, those folks actually did not have a statistically significant difference. So in other words, if you're somebody who's smoking, today is the best day ever to quit because you can potentially halt your risk of progressing to kidney disease. Then it starts to get a little bit more concerning because it depends on how long you've been doing it. For example, in that same study, they looked at what was the risk of cumulative amount of smoking. In other words, what is the risk of people who'd been smoking more than 30 pack years? It was 160% higher risk. And what becomes interesting is what is the underlying mechanism? So what happens is when they start to look at the specific types of diseases, what they find is that there's a substantial increase in hypertensive nephropathy, or in other words, smoking is hardening the blood vessels, leading to higher blood pressure, and that's causing the kidney damage. So hypertensive nephropathy. The other form was that with smoking, if you already have diabetes, there was a much higher chance. So for hypertensive nephropathy, the risk was 185% higher. For diabetic nephropathy, the risk was 124% higher. Now, that's that study. We also have another study. This is um, not a study, but it's an article by Lang and Schiffel. It just came out, Renal Replacement Therapy in 2024. And what they talked about was that basically we all know that cigarette smoking is going to put you at a risk for new chronic kidney disease. Of course, if you already have chronic kidney disease, it's going to get worse. But what they did was they reviewed the data and what they talked about is, is that if you are spilling protein in the urine, smoking will make it worse. If you have a kidney transplant, it will absolutely make that transplant die sooner. So the bottom line between this newest article, 2024, was that the rate of decline is absolutely dependent on the dose as well as the duration of smoking. And if you end up stopping, once again, you stop today, you can actually slow down that progression or even stop it significantly. But what's interesting about this latest article is they talk about the fact that when you smoke, you're actually getting a lot of cadmium. So remember, we talked about heavy metals in a number of videos in terms of the risk of heavy metal-induced kidney damage. And so what their thought process is that one of the biggest markers could be the inhalation of cadmium that's actually causing the kidneys to progressively worsen. So when we talk about smoking, what's fascinating is that with smoking, and cigarettes have over 600 ingredients. And if you look at the number of chemicals, there are over 7,000 different chemicals. Wow. So this is why when we talk about what's the underlying mechanism, it's tough. But from cadmium, what we know is that heavy metals, including cadmium, they will directly damage the proximal tubule of the kidney. They will cause inflammation in the tubules and cause those tubules to atrophy and fibrose. But it's not just cadmium. A lot of people start to think, well, you know, that's just smoking, so why don't I do something that's like e-cigarettes or nicotine? Well, nicotine actually worsens the hyperfiltration into the kidney or the pressure into the kidney. That leads to scarring of the glomerulus and which results in the glomerulus, which is, you know, the ball, and we talk about the tubes coming out of it inside the kidney, but the glomerulus essentially starts to shrink. On top of that, 
all of the blood supply with nicotine, there's all sorts of damage that occurs to the blood supply that provides that very crucial blood to the kidneys. So as a result, there's nicotine, there's cadmium, there's 7,000 plus chemicals all going in together that are damaging overall what's happening with the kidneys. Gotcha. And that's so important, I think, to address that because it's, you know, whether you have kidney disease or not, increased risk with smoking. If you do have kidney disease, then it can lead to it progressing faster and more kidney damage. And then regardless of, you know, great, you're not smoking cigarettes, but e-cigarettes, nicotine pouches and cigars, these other forms of, um, you know, methods that people consume these things, all of those can still be impacting your kidneys. Let's, let's take a step back on the e-cigarettes. So what okay. what's more concerning about e-cigarettes is because there's this thing that a lot of teenagers and young people are starting to do. Yeah. E-cigarettes is where the fluid that's there, you end up heating that fluid to be able to get the smoke and so forth. And so what happens is you, when you do that, you create this aerosolized sort of particles. And these things have all sorts of toxic byproducts. Specifically, they will have reactive aldehydes. They will have all sorts of organic compounds. They will have the flavorings, but in addition, they will have the heavy metals like cadmium that we just finished talking about, and they will also have the nicotine. So the reason this matters is because e-cigarettes also lead to markedly increased levels of cadmium and markedly increased levels of nicotine inside your body both of which will lead to worsening kidney damage, whether you have kidney disease or you don't. And then smokeless tobacco, what becomes very interesting about that is, is in a lot of third world countries, people use smokeless tobacco, much less so in America than if you compare it to Southeast Asia and so forth. So there's a study that was done in Bangladesh, and this was published in 2023. And basically what they found was that smokeless tobacco, which was quite high in terms of usage over there, it was linked to about a 52% higher risk of high blood pressure, about a 94% higher risk of anemia, and about a 62% higher risk of having chronic kidney disease. So bottom line is, is even though the marketing makes it seem like it's, you know, you don't have to inhale, it doesn't matter, number one, because you're still inhaling without you inhaling. Number two, whether it's cigarettes, cigars, or as we saw now with e-cigarettes and even smokeless tobacco, all of those things are going to worsen the overall kidney disease progression. And this might be something that we want to do in a separate episode, but I assume we're going to get questions in this, in the comments about this, but what about people smoking marijuana? Yeah, marijuana, when smoking by itself is a very bad habit. And that's because of the fact that burning of stuff is going to release all sorts of compounds. And depending on what's in it, once again, is it heavy metals or other stuff that's in it? That's all going in your bloodstream. So smoking is always the least preferred way of doing anything. Now, there's medical marijuana, which is used for a number of things, including things like epilepsy. So there's certainly a place and medical grade marijuana has a number of safety measures it goes through. But overall, smoking of anything will never be a good idea. All right. Thanks, Dr. Hashmi. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Thanks, guys.